Hello and welcome back. You guys probably know this product right here. World famous Hymer, precise precision, also very educational that helps us allow our machines to perform better. In fact, I've done interviews around the world where well, I don't know if I want to say an average machine, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's say a cost-effective investment machine has upgraded that machine with the Hymer product to actually improve runout, to improve surface finish, to improve tool life. And I'm with my buddy Brent today, where one of my favorite topics is balancing because we do have a video from about two years ago where I'm shaking like this because a product that he was showing me was out of balance and, and how that actually works. Today, we're going to talk about presetting and balancing in one machine to keep things simple for you, Brent. I've talked to too much probably at this point, <laughs> so I want to bring you into this to tell, talk about the details of the importance of balance and presetting, but also what you get when you put them together. Absolutely, Tony. Thanks uh, for having me. Good to see you again. It's a Always pleasure a to pleasure. be here. Yes, yeah, sir. Absolutely. So, yeah, this is our TD preset machine. So it's basically a balancing machine and a tool presetter all in one. So many times people don't have either in their shop. So you have to go through cost justifications. You have to figure out what do I need? Which one do I prioritize? With this one, you can have it all in one. So basically, as you mentioned, balancing is incredibly important, highly misunderstood in my opinion. But as you mentioned, if, if you have unbalanced, it creates a lot of vibration. You have poor tool life, poor service finish, bad spin to life. But really, the, the worst part of unbalance is, is you're going to slow down your feeds and speeds. So you're going to get your, machi your parts machine slower rather than really maximize what's capable with the machine. So we really like to talk about balancing because it's an important element often forgotten. And presetting for that matter too. Presetting allows you to set the tools off the machine. So while the machine tool's running, you can be getting your Z dimension, you can check radiuses, you can actually look at the cutting edges. And all this can be done while the machine's running so you're not wasting machine time. So it's all about efficiency. Yeah, actually that was gonna be my summary as well. Listening to how you were describing that was doing more, doing more with the limited amount of time that we all have. And if it's okay with you, I'm gonna bring up a, a quick story that you and I got to be a part of, and that's with our buddy Corey at Hard Milling Solutions, where he has your tool holders for the last 20 plus years with the same accuracy, same precision, same everything. And he was the guy that kind of was the, I'm gonna use the word OG, it's a fun, it's a fun word, but the OG of hard milling. Everyone was grinding an EDM and he brought it in and he is a pure advocate of everything you just said, which is this is the destruction of my perfection by not balancing, by not utilizing these types of, of technology that allow us to excel when it comes to that type of hard milling work. So I wanna go back to your efficiency again. Aren't we all trying to do more with the limited time we have? If we can do it outside the machine, if we're doing it inside the machine, I know there's conversations, you and I have had them before where you go, well, you're paying for the quality. We know that we're not the least expensive out there, but by the end of the day, if we're doing price per part, if we're doing longevity, if we're doing the value at the end of the day, it's probably the least expensive product on the market. <laughs> <laughs> you're right about that, Tony. And you, you look at Corey, Corey's a great example because he's had those holders for almost 20 years, if not 20 years. So he's still using the same holders. So what is the cost in a day? It's, it's less than a penny a day over the time, but yet he's been able to get the most efficient production he can with better service finishes, lights out machining, being able to do what you need to do when you're doing hard milling, which is not easy, as you, as you mentioned, and he's pretty much the, the groundbreaker on that. But really, if he didn't have the shrink fit, if he didn't have balanced tool holder assemblies, he really wouldn't be able to accomplish what he's able to accomplish. So you're right, it's, it's about efficiency, it's about consistency, and that's what Heimer can, can give you. Absolutely, and the one thing as we close this out, Brent, is I wanna bring it all first, full circle just by saying to the audience, we're talking about presetting, we're talking about balancing, but how does Heimer know so much about it? Well, they also make their own cutting tools. So any failures that you're having, you're learning about and fixing as well because you understand that importance by being able to supply people, support people, including yourselves, because I've been to Germany, I've seen what you do there. Yeah. So including yourselves, you're perfecting the art of all of these situations in one place. Well, actually, you're right, Tony, and that's what is very unique about Heimer. So we make 4,000 tool holders a day. We make thousands of cutting tools a day. So we are a real producer of products. So not only do we make and sell balancing machines, presetting machines, shrink machines, or combo machines throughout, we're actually using it. So we are our, our own customers, so we know what we need, we know that it's gotta be accurate and it's gotta be easy to use, because that's another thing. You wanna make sure that it's usable, 
but we use it ourselves. So before it even gets to market, we've proved it all out, and then we become more efficient, and then we share that efficiency with others. Very well said, Brent. You're always a pleasure. Always grateful for your time. I know how valuable it is. For everyone watching, did you get to what Brent said, that they're a user of their product? First person to comment in the comment section of that 90s commercial of that hair loss guy who says, I'm not just selling this. I'm the, I'm the whatever. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about. First person to leave a comment gets an MTD CNC shirt. I'll see if Brent wants to give you something as well. But thank you all for watching. We will now know who made it to the end of this video by the comment section as well. Brent, thank you for helping make it our industry more dynamic, just like your dynamic presetter as well. You're welcome, Tony. Thank you.